Hi guys, what's up? It's Kyle here. Um, with a video game discussion. <sighs> you know, of some of the many things I would say over the last year that have frustrated me in the game industry. One is Microsoft and their direction of the Xbox. I don't know what they're going to do with the next Xbox before as far as for the 360, what they've done over the last couple of years. Um, Capcom has also been a developing company that has frustrated the hell out of me last year. Now, added onto this list is EA. Why? Because just this morning, EA has announced that they will now have microtransactions on all of their video games, licensing video games. Yeah. So, what does this mean for you, the consumer? I tell you what that means for you. Pulling out your wallet and spending more cash than you than you already that you don't need to spend. Microtransactions is nothing but a bunch of whole BS downloadable content that you have to pay for. And I think this is completely BS and bullcrap because nobody has money to pay for downloadable content constantly all the time. Now for Certain games, EA will, they would release, um, you know, downloadable packages and whatnot the day of launch for free. But now, guess what? Since they're going to make micro, since they're having microtransactions for all their games now, they're going to charge you now for those used to be free downloadable contents at launch with the video game. They're going to charge you for that now. So, for all those you know, hardcore is uh, EA Madden fans and uh, uh, NBA Live. Although we haven't had live from EA in like two years now. Um, still, to get the whole probably you know the whole updated roster and you know download this package here or for football for Madden download this playbook or created playbook. They're gonna charge you for that. So they're gonna get ready to charge everyone up like a Christmas tree. Light them up like a Christmas tree. I mean, really, I think this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, and I, I had written it down as the, uh, one of one of the um, executives there. They actually, and EA actually wants to defend this bullcrap because one of them actually says, "We are building into we are building into our games the ability to pay for things, not play, but pay for things along the way to set a higher level, pretty much, of experience." And then he goes on to say, "And consumers." are enjoying and embracing that way of business. Okay, let me just break this down. First of all, one, he goes in and says, we are building into our we're building into all our games the ability to pay for things along the way to get to a higher level. Why the hell do I have to continuously pay for packages and downloadable content for a game I've already spent 60 bucks for. It sounds like to me the freaking game isn't complete. If you still have, to, still have to download pieces and different levels and all this other crap to expand upon the game. It doesn't make any sense. And I don't know too many people that will play the same game for like two or three years straight. I mean, I have games that I've bought like five years ago. I like to play every once in a while. But once I'm done beating that game, I put it on the shelf and save it for a rainy day to, to come back and play later. So... Why the hell are you charging people extra stuff on the video game? So basically, what EA is pretty much telling you here in your face is that we're going to make a crappy game, okay? We're going to make a crappy game that's about, say, 40 to 50% complete. It's going to be half-assed and a half-assed job. Then we're going to push it out to you, to, to the consumers. We're going to give it a 60 buck price. Or sometimes now, look at what they may do with next generation systems, 70 buck price for a freaking video game. And then throughout the year, then we're going to add downloadable packages. We're going to add extra maps and guns for the Battlefield games. We're going to add extra playbook and the extra players for Madden and for Live and this, that, and the other. And we're going to charge you guys for it because you're going to buy it anyway because, well, the game just isn't complete that we put out on the shelf. That is absolutely ridiculous. And then on top of that, I want to say we have consumers, and consumers are enjoying and liking this change of business. No, they don't. 
we're living we're the 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 government the economy is still in a crap hole okay no one has money to freaking spend extended downloadable content off of a game that's pretty much not even complete pretty much is what you're saying nobody has money for that nobody's going to do that it's absolutely ridiculous and in my opinion i think this is this is this is developers way um along with the the current gen systems not being able to play may not it's not confirmed but may not be able to play used games it's because they want to get they want to get more money because uh uh, uh used games what it does uh uh i'll get on the when you purchase used games um used games that money goes towards the 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 retailer the person that sells the money but the people that made the game, the developers, they don't get that. They don't get the revenue and pay off of used video games. So it's like now they're like, okay, well, since we can't get, we don't get money off of pre-owned video games, games that are pre-owned, they have no, they have no right to get money off of that. So they're like, okay, well, let's rile, let's rally up and make a complaint that next-gen systems won't be able to play used games. And on top of that, let's well, what EA is doing. Let's charge everybody for every freaking downloadable content we can think of and make a half ass game at a sixty buck retail price. Absolutely ridiculous. This is this is just this is why people hate EA. Because one, EA feels like they can just one, they can control and take over everything because they're like, Oh, we've been out for twenty plus years. You know, we're the one of the biggest, you know, companies in, in the in the game industry today. So let's just let's just buy this Buy this franchise, buy the series, buy this, that, and the other because they because they feel like oh hey we, we can do it even though sometimes there are certain games EA should have never picked up and bought and put under their umbrella, um, but they feel like they can just do it because well they're EA. So you have that assery cocky attitude that they have, and now you have this which was t t today that they announced today. This is absolutely ridiculous and frustrating. Um, I'm not much of a big sports game player, but you know there are some games I do buy that come from EA, um, as well as other games that EA may not have purchased, but they do publish, so they still get a say in some what direction flow that game goes into. Uh, so with that being said, um, I think this affects everybody because EA at the end of the day is probably number one um, in, in game com in, in the game industry today. You know people complain about Activision and and Ubisoft. I'm like. Activision, I can understand a little bit, but they're nowhere near as bad as EA. I take Activision any day. So you guys, let me know what you think about um, EA uh, making this 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 new transaction into uh, microtransactions on every game uh, from their company. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment box below. Subscribe, peace.